Who answered the sky? Who answered the sky? Who hands up? Y'all two hands up. The images you just saw were taken from a live recording and several eyewitness account videos of the events of four days ago at the Astro World concert. And today I want to talk about not only that event, but Hollywood as a whole and its depraved descent into self worship, and self-godhood in a way that I don't think many other people talk about it. This is my first in a series where I take a topic of the day or a topic of the week and I give my opinion and I talk about it and I really deep dive into what I feel but also what the Bible says about it. I may not do like actual word-for-word -word references, but I do know enough about the Bible that I can quote sections that deal with topics, and I will prepare before I ever film a video. <clears throat> so, about Astroworld. There are many things that I could say about this, about the imagery of the, of the phoenix and the all-seeing eye, the gate at the back of the stage, and how at points it said the words, see you on the other side, the eight flames and the eight people that died first. There's currently, I think, a count of 11 people who passed. There's a lot of imagery there. There's a lot, there's a lot of things that can be said about the imagery surrounding the days before the event, too. I want to talk, though, about what is a problem in Hollywood and the industry of entertainment as a whole, because I think it bears talking about. And one of the major things that we need to realize as Christians and also as human beings is that Hollywood is not your friend, neither to the, to the audience or to the entertainer who enters in. Hollywood is a very dark place. Let me tell you something. Right here, right now, Hollywood is probably the darkest place and the strongest of strongholds that Satan holds in his palms because something about being a son is that it encourages idol worship. What What's that one show where normal people go from nobodies to musicians with their own label and everything else? American Idol? Yeah. American Idol. They're literally not hiding this stuff. They're literally not even bothering to hide it. It's in public... You, if you become a celebrity, you're officially inducted as the leader of your own cult. It's that nefarious. But you end up the leader of your own cult of personality. There's, actually, there's probably even a song out there about that. I do believe I've heard those words in a song before. Cult of personality. But the fact is that with the times that we lived in or that we have lived in and that we are living in, the modern age began the age of self-worship, especially in the entertainment industry. You have personalities who have their own shows or who have their own music labels or who have thousands of fans who turn out for events that they host, events that they start. And I'm a part of the problem too because I promote that kind of system by me being a part of it. Yes, I admit I'm a part of the problem because I'm participating in that system. However, I'm trying to bring some good into it by not 
serving myself, but rather serving God instead. That's the main thing that I want to take away from this, is that I need to remember that I, I am not the most important part of this whole thing. God is. And if I can put God first, then everything else follows after. But the, in, the industry has long been known for its depraved behaviors and practices, especially in regards to very heinous acts and very heinous sins. Whether it be the secret parties where less than savory things happen to people who are under 18, and I won't say anything more because I want to keep this video monetizable. That way it's considered by the algorithm and stuff still. But the fact that there is definitely a sect of Hollywood that focuses on hiding their activities while also not blatantly denying that they exist. I mean... There are people who I personally admire in the industry who have come out and said outright that, yes, there is some stuff that goes on in Hollywood that is reprehensibly horrible, and I refuse to be a part of it. There, there are young child actors and child stars who have come out and said that their years in Hollywood have left them scarred because of the behaviors that they were subjected to and that people did to them. I do believe that Hollywood and the entertainment industry was Satan's first real large-scale operation, especially here in America but across the world as well. You see fans who act as if they're possessed because they have to see their favorite musician or actor, and so they barge through a gate and literally trample people who have fallen to the ground. This happened at this event. You have imagery in shows and in movies and in concerts that directly mirror or almost imitate famous classical paintings depicting either hell or or hell related things the gate for the Astor World Festival the entrance was literally a giant version of this guy's head and you walked in through its mouth now think of that and think of and, and don't and tell me you don't think about like sacrificing children to the altar of Baal or sacrificing their children to Moloch in the Old Testament. Or even, as my friend pointed out, he looked at that image and he thought of the verse that says, The devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking those he may devour. Satan isn't looking at the guy that he's already got in his, in his palms over there in the corner doing drugs and pushing a needle into his arm or anything like that. He's going after the, the impressionable young folk that go to a concert unaware that the events that will occur at that concert will scar and change them for life. Or may end their lives right then and there. And this is the problem with modern day entertainment. The modern day entertainment industry is so vastly corrupted by greed, power, pride, envy. There, You know how many artists, especially music artists, have started a conflict with another music artist over their pride and over their envy of the other person. 
you can't go a week without TMZ or somebody reporting on another feud between two actors or two stars because, oh, well, last week, last week's feud is still, still going on, but it's old news. We need something new. Oh, look at this one. Uh, one of the Jenners or uh, one of the Kardashians or something is uh, bashing another actor or whatever. You know, I don't care. I don't care. But that's the way that modern media does things. They put the focus on things that don't matter to distract you from the things that do. Because what matters? Okay, what matters in this day and age? Family, faith, God, and the mission. Okay? God is first. Above all, serve God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else will follow. Yes. If you seek God's will first in your life, everything else falls in line according to his will. Second, family. I don't care about who you are. If you don't do anything else besides serving God and helping your family, that, th those are the only two things that I ever think are important enough that you need to follow through with that. Everything else can fall by the wayside, but those two things you need to do every time you can. Third, faith. Faith and God go hand in hand, but again, faith is something that you grow. Faith is something that is evident in you, and that allows you to do number four, which is the mission. The mission, go into all the world and preach the gospel, making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to do what I have told you. It's a paraphrase, but that's what Jesus calls us to do. He calls us to go into the world, share the gospel, make disciples, and teach them to do as we are doing to help, to, to serve God and to help the message Red. That's our main goal. And what is Hollywood except for a big distraction from that? The, the biggest victory in, quest, in, in quotation marks that Satan has ever managed to, to create for himself in this day and age. Because, because let me tell you something. When I see people who are more concerned about continuing a concert than they are about getting people out of danger and to help. I see that as Satan going, <laughs> see what I did there? I managed to make a, make a bad situation worse. Yeah, because I, I, I do believe that this guy, Travis Scott, or whoever his name is, I think it's Travis Scott. I don't really care. I believe that this guy is definitely demonically influenced by both, one, his own heart. The heart is deceitful above all things. Do not trust it, but trust the Lord your God. Again, might be a paraphrase, but it's a good thing to keep in mind. Don't trust your heart. You know you know the old saying, the old Disney thing. Oh, follow, follow, the, follow your heart and you'll never be wrong. Well, guess what? Disney lied to you again. I'm mad at Disney, Disney, they tricked me, tricked me. Yeah, you know, they did trick you. They told you that following your heart was the best thing that you could ever do. Wrong. You follow your heart, you're going straight to the wrong thing. Because your heart doesn't know what's good for it. It just knows what it wants. And that's not always the right thing. Your heart can want a bad relationship. Your heart can want all the money in the world. Your heart can want to be famous. But will that serve you well? Will that serve God well? That's the question that we all need to ask in every single one of ourselves when we go out into the world. Is this serving God well? And is this serving me well? Is this doing me any good to do this? And if not, then why am I continuing? But I digress. But anyway, I, I hope that you guys are not too shocked by this turn of events. 
I hope that if any of you who have watched this did attend that so that you are well and that you are safe. And until we see each other again, I hope that you stay safe and sound. May God bless you. May God keep you safe. May God bring you back here again so that we can continue to grow, know, and show the love of God to one another and to the world at large. Until then, thank you and have a good day.